Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Vordy here, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a video to kind of update you guys on some of the changes that have happened, or change. So if you've been living under a rock, and don't read any Reddit forms or any of those things, which most people actually don't, because you just play the game for whatever it is, and when you get a chance, you watch YouTubers, or you go to your favorite YouTubers for information as well, right? So, the one thing I want to point out, if you've been reading the comments in my, like my videos, you probably already know this, but... One thing that's actually changed. Hang on, let's get some get some music going on here. Okay, one thing that's actually changed here is for the Cactor Duins, uh, they've actually updated it where you can get a lot more of the Cactor, like Metal Gigantors as we would call them, in these runs. So we're actually gonna go in there, we're gonna do a few runs and just kinda feel it out and see what we can get in here. So I can show you guys in video, we can record it so that maybe later on, uh, if it changes again, we can use this as a reference point. I'm just gonna bring this party. So as you guys can see here, my nine. I've actually Doken awakened Doken awakened them. Wow, Dragon Ball Z. I've actually awakened them fully to the position where he is let's turn it down a wee bit. Uh, to the position where he is now a six star. And the reason I'm, I've done that is because I'm actually gonna be using him to make a video to compare him and his capabilities to other units. So one of the big questions right now is saying is like, oh, Nine's Hyper Dive is actually really good. It makes him a very powerful unit. But you have to also consider that he's gone for like three or four turns or whatever. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another character to try and compare him to see how much damage a character who is not gone for four turns can deal and see really what the difference is. But that's something like a little analysis video we're going to do later on. Uh, it doesn't have to be rushed right now because Nine is not an exclusive uh, character. It's not like he's just here for a short time. He's going to be here for a long time. So you will eventually get Nine in a, in a Golden Crystal and I wanted to bring that out there. So there we go. We got three giant metal cactars or gigantars that first run so second one we're gonna take a look at what we're getting i think that's actually already more Ooh, that olive mm. anyways we're gonna bring we're gonna bring that olive yeah so that's like three we got there so we're gonna see i want to see if i can get that five or more than five. Oh, that olive that olive yep so there you go big hit Oh, small, 584,000, no biggie. Jeez Louise. But yeah, so they've changed this, giving you the capabilities of getting more, but you can also get unlucky like this and get a lot less, or the same thing as you would have gotten before. 173,000 a piece. Come on, come on. There's only two. All right. So yeah, so from what I, I've been reading and analyzing and from the ones I've done before, you, I've gotten up to like five. Uh, five is the maximum I've seen so far of the big guys, which is the guys we just killed. But uh, I've, I've been reading and people saying that you get up to seven of them now, which is actually really nice. For five energy or 15 energy, it is really, really nice. And soon, soon we're going to be getting an event where this is half off. So instead of it being 15, it's like 7 or 8 or whatever, or they reduce it down to like 10. So those are like events that they normally, they've shown in the Japanese version. So I, I don't see why we wouldn't be getting it sooner or later. So when that happens, that's going to be nuts. Um, anything? Anything? Also, I haven't seen a single queen uh, on here. Here's another olive. Yeah, so that seems to be the build. Having Sparky with the cowl, the black belt gi, the two bracers. Double hand. Oh wow, this one's got three quick assaults. That is sexy. That is sexaroo. We're gonna bring you along. But yeah, so if you guys have been watching my other videos too, I have a video where what to do when the cactars aren't around. One thing you can do is you can actually uh, do the chamber of experience, which is probably the least least efficient way to level up. However, it is the fastest way to level up. Uh, so not level up, it's the fastest way to, or least effort way to do it. Where you will be able to put down 15 energy, it goes through, you get 30,000 experience. You don't have to worry about it. You can bring, you know, the one unit with a friend and you're good to go. It's that easy. However, the best way to level up if you have the time is to do exploration. And the one that you should probably be doing is Timber Track, which is the best or the highest level one right now. I think the thing for rank right now is 
either Bronchosaurus, the a trial, or Alluring Winds. I think that's what it's called. But I'll make a video for the for the rank experience as well for those who are interested. Um, but other than that, other than those things, really the best, 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 best way to, to get experience is through this. Because like, look at that. We got one, two, three. Especially now that they upgraded it, you you can get a pretty pretty big chunk of of cactars for for like 15 energy, which is not that bad. It's not that bad. And again, I know people could argue, well, you exploration, this, that, energy, blah, blah. I know, I get it. There's always going to be more efficient way, but you always got to consider and remember that people are all about time. Some people don't have time to sit down and grind out a whole exploration a bunch of times to try and level up their characters, you know? So, in short, really, the, the best thing for a lot of people is, is what works best for them. If you're going to have energy just sitting around, don't have it sit around. Go to the... Go to the Chamber of Experience, waste it on the Chamber of Experience, waste it on the Enchanted Maze if you got a little bit more time, waste it on the Cactor Duins if they're around, if you have, you know, a few seconds, you can just auto this, like for, for example, like I'm doing, I can just auto it and, you know, they'll take care of them very quickly, it's not hard, but uh, you gotta know what works for you, right, that's essentially how that is, so we're gonna see how much we're gonna get in this run too, another, just one, looks like we got three, so so far, I'm hoping to see if, like with this with this short video, I'm hoping to be able to get at least one where we have around five of the big guys. We're gonna see. And Gilgamesh with his Excalipur that he found and he wasn't happy about it. So how much did we get this time? We ended up getting only two, two big guys. So this is the weakest run so far that I paid attention to. So let's go to the next one. We'll do a few here. I'm trying to. I'm not gonna make this video longer than like 10-15 minutes. So. Oh no, let's go. I'm gonna be using all these cactars to pour into a nine again for the video I'm gonna be making later. Boom boom, boom boom. Doing good. Do, do, do. But yeah, for those of you guys who are out there, let me know what you guys think of the updated cactor doing. Are you happy about it? I mean, you probably should be. But, uh,. How do you feel about it? Do you think they should have come earlier? Like, what I personally think is they should have introduced the next level Cactar. I think it's called the King Cactar? Something like that, I can't remember. Because we don't have it on Global yet, it's only in the Japanese version that I've seen it. It's like the one where you have the three smallish Cactars and they got a crown on them. They give you like 100,000 or something experience. They're just absolute beasts. So this one was a good run. Uh, but yeah, they're like really, really, really good. And I, I wish they introduced that <clears throat> instead of adding this, but I get you know this puts us one step closer to that because that is the next one. It costs 20 stamina, and then you can get a bunch of these big ones. That's a uh, that's always fun to use to level up your characters because you can just literally you get a handful of those and you're good to go. This should be the best run so far. Yeah, yeah, we got there. You go five, one, two, three, four, five. So we got five metal gigantars. Like look at these bad boys. So th that was pretty good. So I've heard that you can get more than five. So I could see it being two, two, two. So that you got six, but seven? I don't know if you can get seven. <clears throat> so we'll do a few more runs and see what we get. And then we're gonna end the video on that on that note. So again, very short video to kind of point out that there's been a change in the Cactor doing. I know that the Enchanted Maze just left. So if you're looking to farm up some experience for your units, this is actually not that bad. Because if you look at it right now, for how much experience five cactars can give you, there's nothing out there that can compete to it. Uh, even the, what do you call it, the tracks. The timber tracks can compete with it if you get five. Because um, it's just not, like even, look, so one gives you 30,000, two give you 60. So as long as you get two of them, which is literally the, you're going to get at least two. You're pretty much beating any other exploration out there that's known in fraction of the time. Yes, it costs 15 energy, but you're playing, you're gambling a little bit here, right? You're gambling for a chance at five. If you get five, there's nothing that can compete it. So like 90,000 is pretty good <clears throat> for 15 energy. That, that that again, I don't think it can be competed. And even if you were doing the 10 energy one, I think that's not that bad either. All right. Wilson!
Now we're gonna bring Key on. As you can see, I'm only picking non-banner units because uh, I want to save those other guys for the for the exploration or the quest, not exploration for the actual quest, which is what I'm gonna do right after this, and probably get make a little video just running through a few runs before I decide to record my next batch of videos, which is gonna be doing 10 runs of each. Like 10 runs of pro, 10 runs of elite to see how often Nimbus appears and stuff. So as of right now, as of this moment of recording, which is Saturday around 8 p.m. Um, March 4th. <laughs> right now, I've only seen the Nimbus once. Look at that, three of them appeared here. Hello. So you can get seven, technically, if you got two, two, then three. Um, I've only seen the Nimbus once and I've never seen the bomb. So people are telling me that there's a gold bomb you can find. Of the 20 or 30 runs I've done, I've never seen the bomb yet, and I've only seen the Nimbus once. So, so yeah, I don't know. As of right now, it's the rates of appearing for these things is very, very, very low. It's probably the lowest we've seen in any of the events so far. So this will be the last run I'm gonna run through, I'm trying to get that elusive seven. So it looks like we're not going to get 7 again. We're not going to be able to because we've started off with two little ones. So many elemental chains because they're wearing holy items. Holy or Excalibur. So there's two more. So the uh, so 9 and then the two Noctuses are all chaining off of each other. That's why you see so many of the elemental chains. And is it 3? It is three, so there you go. We still got five, which is pretty good, even though if the first two are a little one. So if you got the two little ones at the start to be big ones, you can get seven. Because you can get three at the end, two in the middle, and another two. Unless you can get three, 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 that would be intense. I don't know if that's possible, though. I think you only get three at the final one. Alright, so we're just going to go right over here. Prior to this, uh, me doing these runs, I had no cactars. So I'm just going to take a look to see... How many I'm packing? Uh, uh, units. I'm gonna click on him easily to see which one it is. I'm gonna go to enchant. So yeah, I got well, quite a bit. 1, 2, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 14. So 20, sorry, 14, 4. So 24, 25, 26. 26 of those bad boys we got. 26. That's not bad. And about. 100, I think I had 153 when I started, so in about 120 energy we got that many, that's not that bad, I think that's not that bad, because each one of these guys gives you 30 experience, that is a ton, a ton of experience to be getting, so overall this video was just to kind of let you guys know that this Cactar event has been upgraded, uh, now you can get up to seven of the metal gigantars which is actually not that bad for 15 energy um, and it's very quick it's only three battles and they're very weak so having even one unit to go with them is is, is easy clear all right so hopefully this helped you guys out and maybe if you didn't know about this now you do if it helped you out hit that like button if it didn't help you hit if you didn't you know if you already knew it but you know you found the video informative hit that like button as well if somehow you came across this video and you're not subscribed why not subscribe man why not I think my voice just went up like five pitches. Either way, stick around for future content. Uh, I got a bunch of new different videos coming out uh, throughout the week where I'm going to, like I said, do the 10 of each run to see how often the bombs appear, how often the Nimbus appears. And again, those videos are going to be a lot longer and they're going to be they're going to be uncut. So be prepared to have a video that's about 30 minutes long. And, um, you know, it, that's just the way it's going to be. I wanted to show you guys how much time I put into it so that you will actually get to experience the whole thing. You don't have to watch the whole thing. You can start watching at the beginning. When you get bored, jump over to the last five minutes of the video where I will do the conclusion, just like in all the other videos. All right, anyways, thank you so much for sticking around. This is Vordy. I will see you in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.